I'm tired. Tired of fear. The fear of walking in the street. I'm tired of betrayal. The betrayal of my nearest of kin. I'm tired of all those who see me as a mere piece of meat. A meat to which violating is permissible. Permissible to beat. Permissible to ravage. They think that they're doing me a favor by hitting on me or harassing me. I'm tired of looking over my back, of looking in front of me and on both sides, shutting off my ears while walking with my eyesight lower beneath my feet to avoid being shocked by a glimpse or a word. A filthy glimpse from the eyes that are surrounding me, the eyes that are scanning every inch of my body, a word that humiliates my heart every time deeply tears me from within, every time a wound that is never to heal. I'm tired of you and of your Eden, tired of your weakness. You harass me because of your failure to prove your existence. You cannot prove that you're a man because of the society that has broken you, that has deprived you of your chance, the society that has disabled you. You harass to prove that you can do something, to prove to yourself that you are not my kin, to feel that you are the man. Are you relieved? Can you now feel your manhood? When you made me fear you? Do you feel your manhood when you humiliate me? When you made me feel disabled? Is this manhood? Is it? They call themselves artists. Artists who see nothing else but my body. You made of me a headless body. A body for pleasure and seduction. A model. Silent. Naked. You ruined my image in society. You taught them how to harass me with your movies. The movies that raise generations. You made the role models a thug and a slut. This is not art that you sell to people, but lust. A diseased society. A society that has long forgotten its ethics and morals. Lost its identity. A society that reached a point of distortion in understanding the relationship between a man and a woman, which has been exclusively reduced to a sexual relation.
To that extent I'm a nothing, to that extent harassment is something normal and accepted. To that extent is my body owned by all the men of society? Is there no one to stand by my side? Anyone? How come that I'm both the victim and the culprit at the same time? When I'm standing still? Until when will I remain like this? Silent. Afraid. Living without dignity or any self-pride. Is this my life to my last breath? Am I to remain waiting till someone pities my state and defends me? Am I to remain waiting for someone to take my rights for me? Here he comes again. He will touch me again. Enough. I can't take it anymore. Enough! than enough. No longer will I allow society to blame all its problems on my shoulders. No longer will I allow anyone to shush me down telling me lower your voice you're a girl. No longer will I allow anyone to abuse my body with the excuse of remain silent so as to avoid scandal. So now you're shrinking out of fear? Your psychological complexes stigmatizing your face. You found in harassment a hobby till you became an addict. An addict worse than any other. Your hand involuntary reaching to any female's body. A sick animal. And a self-loathing you should always live. It is not my fault that you don't understand your life's purpose. You fail to understand why God created you in a more muscular and a stronger form than me. I am life. And you're supposed to treasure it, not abuse it. There's a huge difference between a male and a man. The likes of you have brought nothing but disgrace upon manhood. No longer will I accept being treated as a second degree citizen in my country. If I find a woman being harassed while remaining silent, I will urge her to speak up and take her rights. I will stand by her side. I will stand and I will shout and defame him because the scandal is upon him, not me. I will not be broken. 